may my speech be firmly established in my mind may the mind to be firmly established in my speech may there be perfect correspondence between my thoughts words and actions may this self effulgent lord shine forth in my life may the truths of the scriptures come to me may not what i learn from them ever forsake me let me live my life day and night according to their teachings i shall speak what is appropriate i shall speak the truth may that protect me may that protect the teacher om peace 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 i jotted down a few notes for this talk uh, so that i will not run out of time uh, we before finishing most of the things it happens sometimes uh, that uh, the preamble takes so much time that the real thing that uh, one has to speak uh, has no time left to deliberate on so therefore uh, i have got a few a uh, bullet few points uh, for this important theme this is a very simple theme nothing philosophical about today's topic but very practical and we need to be practical in life it is uh, because we are not very practical we think spirituality means just reading thinking uh, and just and uh, dwelling on some ethereal high intellectual fla- frame uh, it is uh, our life and our thinking uh, they there is a disconnect then between them uh, as sri ramakrishna used to adequately describe that it is uh, he is describing it about scholars uh, who do not have the practice of uh, dispassion and discernment and dispassion vivek and vairagya inculcated according to those th- thoughts but they just have those thoughts and keep on you know, talking about them all the time they are very big intellectuals so uh, he is compared them to vultures flying high up in the sky very high up i don't know these days uh, rarely anybody has sees vultures here mm it is all gone in my childhood i used to see a lot of them mm, it is up high but uh, what they are looking at constantly thinking about where a rotting carrion is that they can pounce upon and eat so although a person uh, goes very high in the intellectual flights if there is no practical component to it then it just peters down to uh, going after the sense enjoyments in spite of and uh, this high intellectualism so therefore shri ramakrishna's emphasis was on this practicality use uh, every uh, say drop of your energy to realize this goal uh, we are all aware of this very potent saying that he repeated all the time that god realization is the goal of life uh, that the goal is a very important very powerful expression that there are not a, a few goals from which one can choose this or this it is the goal and there is 
a great rational i am not going into that right now but that is the goal of human life there should not be any doubt about it if one uh, wants to know more or why should it be the goal of life please read uh, sri ramakrishna vivekananda or bhagavad gita whatever it is very well clarified uh, if i start talking about it i will run out of time so it is <laughs> that but one very important element of this i was talking to this young lady sitting here this morning before coming here that one has to uh, put the priorities of life in proper order so that Uh, our time doesn't get wasted time management is a very important part in our spiritual journey i uh, in fact a uh, journey in life in general whatever we are going to do but it assumes special importance in one spiritual life that it we can actually progress only if we are managing the time available because spiritual living i am not talking again here about spiritually reading spiritual books or just discussing certain spiritual themes what i am talking about is actually trying to lead a focused spiritual life with full dedication it is an uphill task and therefore one has to fight the inertia to built in in the whole system of creation as it were mm, it is out of this inertia that uh, the elements get manufactured those of you who have uh, studied vedanta sar i know sarva uh, sarva priyanand ji was giving classes on vedanta sar so it shows there uh, the very beautiful phrase is used uh, tama prabha pradhan it is the the in, in, increased uh, inertiatic principle of ignorance that is tamas from which this creation takes place and so we all have this inertia built in us in science and technology this built in principle of inertia takes uh, the form of a very catchy phrase that uh, the uh, path of least resistance we they try to take the path of least resistance but while it is good take the path of least resistance but to the goal not that just because it is path of least resistance you go somewhere else you have to reach the goal and for reaching the goal yes let us pick up the path of least resistance but this distinction gets blurred just least resistance is remembered comfortable uh, i see it you know in most of the places retreats spiritual retreats one question that gets often asked uh, that tell us the easy path <laughs> to realize the goal uh, that realize the goal doesn't have that much emphasis <laughs> easy the word has more emphasis you know well things cannot be everything cannot be made that easy you have to exert as shri ramakrishna used to answer that well that uh, can god be realized in householder's life and he always said yes sure but you have to do something for that Mm, it is not that it will just happen automatically automatically what happens degradation happens automatically you don't have to take any special efforts for that uh, cook some nice food now uh, and leave it just like that for a few days 
and then mm, it gets all putrefied and yeah you don't have to put in any special effort for that but well to make something good uh, you have to put in uh, efforts well directed uh, efforts so this is they uh, fixing the priorities what is more important in life one should devote uh, considerable intense thought for that that what is the most important thing in life it is and with the practical end one should do it that uh, let me decide what is more important compared to so many other things that i want to do uh, it is the life has uh, uh, so many desires surrounding a person uh, hundreds of things that i want to do this i want to do that uh, i want to go all over the world see all these nice places i want to meet all these important people mm, i want to attain lot of fame in life mm, i want to attain to get lot of money uh, because if i have money then i will be able to fulfill all my desires so it is uh, all such things come to one's mind and god oh, well i think i should try to realize god also mm, means it is also but amongst all these where do you put uh, what importance do you give to it so that is the first step in time management because whatever has highest priority in your life you will devote your time to that it is so see what is more important in life it is and then the thought can be directed to that very well that you are all very thinking people that yes you know what will you give uh, more thought to uh, something that is uh, very temporary flimsy or something uh, that is a uh, tangible and permanent naturally the letter that which is tangible that which is permanent i will give uh, more priority to that rather than something that just comes and goes it is so one has to see what is it and then give it more importance uh, make that as the priority of life one has to do it shri ramakrishna has said as a guideline but that is shri ramakrishna saying and although we have that kind of faith in shri ramakrishna still uh, that does not inspire every layer of our being it does inspire our intellect it does to some extent uh, at some fortunate moments of life uh, our feelings also get inspired by that but it does not always last that long and then what happens is a chaos in life because uh, on sunday uh, i hear a religious discourse and i feel that is most important in life but that uh, sunday evening again i go uh, to a party and my priorities already have changed then monday i go to my work uh, and then there is that uh, competition and uh, you know the striving for uh, doing maximum uh, and getting higher and higher in the hierarchy in my uh, business and so forth that takes the priority then there are the family demands that takes priority uh, sometimes the political choices that gets priority and sometimes you have the likings some artistic pulls 
though those get priorities so you the your mind is getting uh, torn between so many different things and you can imagine just picture make a thought experiment suppose uh, you want to pull something uh, there is a not very heavy something say 1 pound of weight now if you just pull in one direction uh, well it will easily be pulled but suppose there are uh, eight pulls in eight directions uh, of equal strength then what will happen to that 1 pound weight it will not move anywhere uh, it doesn't take uh, the mathematics professor sitting there to tell us that uh, it is matter of just common sense we will not move anywhere so it is uh, that is what happens in our life the time just goes 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 and we are left just high and dry at the as we grow older we see this this because time moves kind of independently uh, it is an independent variable in a way independent in the sense we don't have much control over it it is uh, that dimension that is uh, just unidirectional mm. it is uh, you cannot really go back Uh, or forward in time they those fictions are there time machine story and all very enchanting and then sometimes i used to believe one can go back in time one can go forward in time no that is not the case it is even if you are say watching the movie uh, say time machine it is that as if you are moving you are going Hundred years afterwards, what happens? Say now, even we are in twenty twenty two. What will happen uh, in twenty one twenty two? So you are already in that time, uh, and you are seeing everything different. Uh, this is this is how things will turn out, and what is happening actually? in the movie hall you are moving with the same time you are you have not gone anywhere uh, so it is all uh, an illusory idea uh, moving forward in time or backward in time this is a very special feature uh, of this time principle as opposed to the space idea in space you can move forward and backward uh, in a regular sense i mean i came from providence this morning uh, and then i can go back to providence after the lecture yeah so it is i have to go back to providence this is possible we all know that it is not only providence to new york you can go to moon it has been done you can go to moon and come back with time you cannot do it it keeps on moving and therefore mm, we run out of time if we do not manage it well it is uh, we have this again i allude to the inertia principle that uh, we feel oh tomorrow uh, i will do tomorrow it is uh, 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 i know it should be started uh, i should do it but uh, well anyway today is more or less gone mm, it is why there are six six hours what can be accomplished in c6 hours and so it is uh, tomorrow with a fresh mind i will start it is uh, it, that is a very bad tendency uh, i remember the uh, sign board that used to be hung in the shops in india mm, i don't know what they used to do here those days in us that the the sign would say that cash today credit tomorrow 
so today you pay cash you know uh, if you want credit well tomorrow we'll give credit the fellow comes tomorrow the same board you know <laughs> tomorrow never comes mm, so that is what happens aaj nagad kal udhar that is the the hindi expression you know uh, cash today credit tomorrow so uh, we should just write this sign uh, on our minds do it now mm, it is uh, there is uh, a very uh, nice song that we used to sing that if you do it today it will work uh, if you do it later if you put it off till tomorrow then it is gone case so do it now ah uh, that what is to be done today do it now what is to be done tomorrow try see if you can do it today so this time management is such an important practical thing in spiritual life it is said that uh, by uh, the upanishad uh, like kena upanishad it uh, gives all philosophy that how the same god is transcendent and yet immanent is beyond everything and yet is in everything uh, that it is uh, pratibodh viditam matam there as it were the kena upanishads so far as the philosophical teaching is concerned ends there that in where is that principle uh, which moves uh, everything all these are the apparatus like eyes ears hands legs who moves them so the teacher wants to tell that it is nothing separate from these it is uh, involved in all these and yet apart from all these Mm. A, an idea very difficult to convey so so many contradictory terms therefore are used to say that mm, they are apparent contradictions uh, to show that the truth is uh, below them below the surface where these contradictions get resolved so there are in can open issues you read such funny terms that the one who knows does not know and one who doesn't know knows so uh, what does it mean it is so it is uh, the culmination comes in that great verse that uh, in every single vibration of your awareness your consciousness you are aware of that only you are not aware of anything else ah uh, it is you are uh, you are actually you are seeing that but not as that the problem is not as that mm, like when you are seeing a movie uh, you are seeing so many uh, these uh, objects people uh, different mountains cars and various actions taking place now are you not really seeking uh, seeing are you not really seeing screen all the time all the time you are seeing screen and nothing else only thing is you are seeing the screen as this man or this woman or this mountain or this car hmm so actually that principle we are seeing everywhere this world is nothing but that so we have to see uh, these changing pictures are to be abstracted and see the reality that has been told uh, in a very powerful way and one may think here that well the upanishad has been told no the teacher does not stop here although the question apparently is answered 
he then says yachi davedi tath satyam asti na ched iha vedin mahati vinashti if you realize this truth in this life iha right now hmm vedanta philosophy does not uh, tell that after you they de- de- dying and then you will go to some heaven and there you will have a lot of fun not uh, such things right here iha iha ched avedit if you realize this truth right here rangnathananji's books say this very nicely that we do not promise any port post mortem heaven ah it is right here here in bhagavad gita also this word comes with the same emphasis many times here right here and just transform your life right here this is the place where you can transform it this is the opportunity to do that यह चे दवेदीत शंकराचार्य इन द कॉमेंट्री सेज मीन्स इन दिस ह्यूमन लाइफ डू इट अथ सत्यमस्ती देन देन फ्रेंड्स वी हैव मेड प्रॉपर यूज ऑफ दिस लाइफ ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी इट इज वाइल वी हैव इट let us make use of it otherwise the clock is ticking that's happening mm, i still feel you know uh, that uh, well i was just a little child playing in the dust and f- uh, fighting with little friends and all that no uh, i am now where the sun of my life is touching the western horizon it happened just time is passing by ah, it doesn't wait for you we have that saying time and tide wait for none so the sages say i don't think okay from tomorrow i will start doing it right from now eh che davedit ath satyam asti this is then uh, you have made right use of your time available if you don't do it nachet iha vedin mahati vinashti what a great loss is otherwise awaiting you mm on t- TV and all we see, see those ads. Oh, you can get here fifty percent discount. Ah, uh, you have to act fast, though. Don't run out of time. Pick up your phone right now, or go to this website and log in right now. You have to do it. otherwise you will lose this opportunity what opportunity to save a couple of dollars or whatever you know so it is uh, and usually what happens is you save those 2 dollars and what you get is of no use to you <laughs> so it is yeah <laughs> you one of my friends ordered some shit swami can you imagine what discount i got on this and it came there and then was just sitting there nothing it didn't do any good thing uh, uh, so it happens you know just because it is on discount one of our members uh, had this habit and such people actually run the businesses means uh, they feed to the businesses that uh, uh, because there was discount the fellow bought it you know all gone so at uh, but they entice you with this idea time is running out do it now see sages also are telling us time is running out they don't have anything selfish to, for the to gain or to to, to to take some advantage of you no 
rather to give you the advantage remember uh, they are so full of compassion although the question in one sense has been answered that uh, yet this answer is not theoretical it is for practical realization so uh, do work on this and what is the work that is in short called sadhana or spiritual practice what it means uh, is that we sometimes take the meaning of sadhana as uh, sometimes half an hour or whatever 15 minutes or one hour sit in the shrine or in some and then hmm, meditate and you know do some japam that is only a very small one aspect of what is called spiritual practice but that has to get translated into what this kena upanishad said that try to see every moment whatever we are seeing is actually god that we are seeing this is god and again bring shri ramakrishna's realization uh, let us bring it to our eyes of the mind shri ramakrishna sees everything but god manifested as that it is uh, uh, saradananda swami in this uh, book uh, shri ramakrishna and the great master uh, emphasizes this point that where is the difference between our perception and shri ramakrishna's perception uh, you mean to say he sees uh, say rakhal narendra uh, a dog or a cat or what he t- does not recognize them he seems to recognize them he doesn't call uh, this narendra uh, as rakhal or a dog as a cat uh, he is very clear on those things but on that plane although our perceptions are same Sri Ramakrishna perceives that cat not as just cat but god god appearing as cat that very god appearing as rakhal that very god appearing as narain that very god appearing as gauri ma uh, all that is just god having different forms sometimes i like to give the analogy of uh, animal crackers you know uh, animal crackers do you know uh, yeah so uh, it is uh, you have say and uh, the uh, a cat uh, or a camel or whatever now they are actually the same thing isn't it uh, cat and camel they are different only in the appearance and as uh, uh, forget that very little babies they don't uh, understand but uh, Uh, as soon as the fellow goes to say first grade knows that cat is not cat there mm, a camel is not camel a lion is not lion it is all just a cracker same substance in all let us feel that that is sadhana that is spiritual practice to see same one god one without second god in all the forms that we are seeing that is the use of time proper use of time to learn to see this this is friends the spiritual practice and the time is to be spent for that and human life is the vehicle for that as all scriptures say like shankaracharya's vivek chudamani and shri ramakrishna vivekananda's teachings that in a human birth you get this special opportunity other creatures they don't have they have not been blessed 
with this special engine of discernment they are vehicles uh, but uh, not having this special tool of discernment their life is not a goal oriented life it is an instinctive life uh, which in our this ladder of kundalini i don't want to uh, get into the details of life but it uh, in that language you can say it rises only to the up to the two initial chakras and uh, that is called muladhar and swadhisthan where only the uh, just the physical uh, needs are looked into nothing more than that in the human life you have what next uh you think you try to improve your life you try to learn you run schools ah uh, no other animal i know runs schools ah uh, human beings run schools for dogs that is different you know uh, have you seen any dog running school for other dogs <laughs> no it is on that is the human speciality to learn it is uh, so this is because human beings have this capability to think of the goal of life the objective and so uh, therefore th- this life has this potential know the goal uh, and then achieve that goal that is the purpose so use this this life is ebbing away mm, not going to last too long uh, anything can just take it mm. so before things go wrong and you have to lose this life make sure that you have achieved this now this is the the thing that has to be looked into with priority and that this is the management of time that other things can wait other things can wait it is there is another sanskrit verse that comes to my mind i think of that verse a lot that it is you have achieved this human body by spending a lot of karma lot of good karma that you had attained you had acquired by doing good things you invested in it in getting this human body mahata punya pannena kriteyam kayanaustvaya that this body a vehicle a, there in that verse it is a boat that you have acquired of this this human body for what param dukho dadher gantum to cross this ocean of suffering and bondage to cross oh, this you have acquired this boat tara yavanna vidyate before it breaks before it breaks use it for this purpose there are all other things that can be achieved in other species lives too mm in fact in human life you cannot really do justice to those urges uh, like urge for eating mm swami vivekananda says i have not seen any human being eating with a gusto of a dog uh, no if the dog's life is centered in that a uh, human beings you know that, that uh, uh, eat something a little more and you get indigestion uh, it is uh, uh, you have so many allergies can eat this cannot eat this and so forth uh, look at a pig very nicely eating you know and never suffers indigestion so it is like that you know those uh, sensual pleasures can be enjoyed with intensity in other species all types of sensual pleasures much better than human life because human life has an element of you know conscience when human beings indulge 
in those pleasures they get a prick of conscience because that is not what this body is meant for you are doing something that this body is not really meant for so you get a prick of conscience there animals don't so human beings therefore this life is not for that purpose you have bought this human body for a great purpose and you have spent uh, all your fortune of karma uh, in getting this mm, like you get say a spacecraft uh, that can go to moon ah uh, it billions and billions of dollars i don't know how much it cost somebody may tell me later but uh, it is not something that you can uh, just buy in a uh, car shop you see uh, you need uh, to spend uh, billions and billions of the thousands of billions of dollars have to be spent to build one now if you want to use that uh, vehicle to travel in the lanes of new york useless you will not be able to travel even with cars it is very difficult people feel bicycle is much better uh, in new york uh, and what this spacecraft is going to do there it is misuse of it and you are not doing what the spacecraft is meant for this human craft which such great expenditure has been built and acquired for what to break this barrier of subject object to attain to that supreme oneness to go beyond all bondages and suffering so use that the time is running out you have to act now now let us not postpone uh, not till tomorrow don't postpone it even by a minute uh, have to start doing it right away right here just uh, right here try to see everything around uh, including your own body every perception is actually the god in various forms so uh, that is how one has to use it do it now other things you know so arrange the priorities in such a manner that other things can wait there is another great sanskrit uh, couplet uh, that was uh, in my uh, middle school i remember this being told to us the meaning didn't really uh, strike me then but later uh, i read it again in turiyanandji's that book that letters that yes very important idea that uh, ajaramarvat pradnyah artham kamam ch chintayet when you are thinking of uh, getting money or fulfilling some other desires think that there is lot of time for that you know uh, don't worry they need not be done right away uh, there is lot of time for that postpone that mm, it is ajar because i am at that time think of yourself that i am immortal and i have no uh, old age either ajara amaravat pradnyah means an intelligent person pradnyah an intelligent person uh, should uh, see that they are low priority things uh, they can be put on back burner uh, it is so but what is most important grihit iv keshesu mrityu na dharma macharet think that well the death has caught the tuft of your hair is about to just gobble you thinking like that very little time is available thinking like that do your spiritual practice dharmam acharit this is how 
Now we have to see how we can do this. Otherwise, you know, uh, we will have to weep. That is what happens. That uh, Shankaracharya says in a very famous hymn that uh, the childhood just is spent in playing around. Then you grow older and then some other pleasure avenues and other things come before you. And then you get old. Now the only thing you are left to do is keep on worrying. Hmm. That is the job the old people seem to do constantly even if they don't want to do, you know. Keep on worrying about everything that has nothing, no concern with them. Uh, still, uh, yeah, so many people, they uh, are worried always uh, in our congregation and as well, you know, that it is, oh, what will happen with aliens when they come here? And now, well, we, 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 who knows why, all about, why you are so concerned about that? Are there no better things to look into? No, it is uh, such worries, you know, what will happen to my son? Oh, well, your son is now grown up, let him take care. Ah, one uh, lady came to me, kind of a bit with a little disgust. She told me, ah, my... Uh, my daughters told me uh, that, oh, d don't worry about us. We are now 25 plus years old. We can take care of ourselves. It is so, but the mind keeps on worrying, cannot do anything. But just worry, that occupies this whole time. That becomes then a habitual pastime as it were. <laughs> Keep on worrying. So, if you don't have anything to do, okay, let me start worrying. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is, <laughs> so, it is Vruddha Stavad, that is the sign of the old age, mm, that keep on worrying. Mm, it is, so, Swami Vivekananda describes, you know, in a in Jnana Yoga book, in a very telling phrase, and then comes the old age. He is describing that how a person is running after different pursuits, uh, you know, different objects. Uh, and then comes the old age. And he says, what is old age? A heap of broken dreams, shattered dreams. That becomes the old age. So, before that happens, uh, we have to put things in proper order, then old age will not be worrying. Old age will also be striving towards the goal with feeling of more urgency that yes, uh, there is uh, now because you are running out of time. One of our friends there who stays in Providence was uh, uh, going to India and uh, he had many things to finish Go before leaving for India he has to properly clean his room this and that and at that time uh, when I went to say how uh, Swami I am running out of time uh, I have no time to you know, waste I have to arrange before uh, the, otherwise I will miss flight yes friends uh, when there is we have to be conscious now we are running out of time the other things are not important now this is the important thing before we uh, run out of time so let us pray friends that uh, we make the best use of this available time, this human birth, again and again. Uh, we are all, you know, so fortunate. We have been blessed by Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother, Vivekananda and the great Vedanta scriptures, uh, which always exhort us to have uh, Use this life properly. Uh, all different religions, if you see, they also tell us the same thing, same idea. That do not let this birth go to waste. Make every single moment of it 
to let us make the good use of it to achieve the ultimate goal so friends i am so thankful to you to sarva priyananda and other members here uh, for giving me this blessed opportunity to think on this very nice topic and i have run out of time thank you <laughs>